Hello, and welcome back to Blasphemous, where I have learned the importance of checking your inventory. Speaking of which, uh, let's check that again. I can start here. So last time we got the lung, like 20 minutes into the episode, that protects us from Miasma, and then we struggled against Miasma for another 20 minutes. So there was another item that I picked up that I didn't read. Yes, there it is. The Silvered Lung of Dolphus, which... Protects the wearer from poisonous miasma. Now, one thing I'm going to test right away here is whether or not that makes me immune to miasma, or whether it reduces the damage I take, or the uh, the time between taking damage. I'm hoping it's just blanket immunity. Um, but we also got melted golden coins. Three gold pieces melted into a distorted mass that never loses its shine. Well, that doesn't tell me a whole lot now, does it? A uh, holy wound of contrition... Oh, we still have an empty bile vessel? We should do something about that. Number three. I was there. I bore witness to that creation. The hairs of the sisters grew and braided, wrapping around them, making a terrifying crunching noise until it covered them completely, shaping itself as an egg. An egg made of rough, knotty hair. Well... If I heard hair crunching, I would probably be terrified too. That does not sound like a particularly good state for, for things. Okay. So. How immune am I? So far, so good. Yeah, my helmet's leaking, but that's uh, that's a different issue. Okay, um, that is a kind of in an awkward spot. Can I? I don't think I can really do much with that. That's not going to do it. Okay, so and I think we determined earlier that. My range attack also doesn't do much. Hmm. I have three coins. I don't think that's what this is referring to, though. Oh, it's an egg of hair. Maybe it is what it's referring to. Do you want to give the melted golden coins? I suppose I do. between my fingers. I reject the riches of my betrothed. Okay, and I cannot interact with that anymore. Uh, Black Grieving Veil. Okay, apparently, do I have everything for this? With this veil, I cover my face in mourning for the dead love for my betrothed. Interesting pronunciation of betrothed. No available offerings. Okay, we're missing one of three items. Okay, does this show up as something on the map? What would I even mark this with? Question mark? Okay, this is green. You know what? It's three offerings. There we go. Three offerings. Maybe that'll make sense to me at some point. Uh, also, while I'm thinking about it, uh, we collected this last time. Let's just remove that. Also, also, while I'm thinking about it, let's put one here. Yeah, trying to be better about my map because the thing about these kinds of games is that you are going to have to backtrack and if I'm not oh that was the right pack button it was ah, okay no it wasn't actually I was doing a mid-air parry and that wasn't going very well ah, okay I've taken a lot of damage already ah, whoops well, at least I don't have to worry about Miasma anymore. 
is why we're continuing in this direction instead of going onward in the other direction, which is really where I want to be going. But I think I think it's uh, either the next screen or the one after that. Oh, you can attack her or yeah, you just die. I am way too spam happy. Ow. And there's a pit there, apparently. Okay. Now, uh, weren't we trying to go down there anyway? Uh, I guess we haven't actually taken those exits. So yes, we were trying to go down there, but we weren't trying to go down there that far. Okay. don't actually react to being stabbed. That makes things easier. Relatively simple AI. Uh, there's no point in fighting these. I just took a hit for no reason. Guild recovered. Ow. I guess we don't really need either of those, so let's just go this way. Oh hey, we were looking for this earlier. Refill empty biliary vessel, yes. Always good to get that. And then there's this, which is not terribly difficult as long as I don't take a hit. Anoint yourself with the oil of the pilgrims. Sure. Maximum amount of fervor has been increased. Oh. Alright, so that was a nice little area at the bottom there. Now uh, there is a question mark here. Which might have been... I think it was that ghastly miasma room. Just deal with and investigate that and get that done with as well. There's just a pickup there, I think, of indeterminate type. Yeah, trying to do this without the immunity would have been pretty bad. Also, you have to be on top of those completely in order to do that, huh? Knot of Rosary Rope. Okay, I think that's the first one of those that we've had, but that's pretty cool because we can increase the size of our rosary with that, I'm pretty sure. Rot note made from the threads of habits of monks, deceased in ancient times. Uh, Because we couldn't have modern. Well, I guess a rosary is kind of a relic of sorts, isn't it? So you're having having it be old is 
sort of appropriate. They're like, we have religious people here. Surely they have their, like, we still have monks. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was pre-miracle. The, the monks from the pre-miracle era were the only ones that had decent rosaries. Anyway, Ingratia was her name. Her rosaries were the prettiest of all custodia. The most prestigious priests and bishops frequented her workshop, and even our very holiness, Scriber, commissioned her. Such was her majesty, uh, such was her mastery, that a rosary crafted by the old Ingratia was unparalleled in beauty, delicacy, and perfection. Word spread that a rosary that was not made by her would not receive divine blessing, and prayers would not be heard, and besides, that would be a sin. This caused all the others to become banned by the Holy Mother Church and those so-called false rosaries were searched after and burned. Someone who kept a deceitful rosary would be severely punished, sometimes even accused of heresy. Then we all began to wonder what would become of the rosaries when Ingratia was no longer with us. Right, and is it her ghost that ties the knots for us? I don't remember the ghost's name, but I know the place to go to get that dealt with. Alright, so what's the fastest way out of here? Well, if we keep going up, there is a teleporter up there. Which means that we're not using this, which is unfortunate. Uh, because this is where we get the rosary done. Okay, well, this has been cleared. Uh, I think we'll just go back to the right at this point. Most of the enemies should be dead because I have not... Used a shrine. Down. I guess I didn't kill you. Um, that was too late on a parry. Okay. Don't really need to kill you. Hello? I guess I won't kill you. Oh. What? That was quite a quite a few tears for that. Okay. Um, right, this is not death pit. I mean, I guess that's the reason to fight. That's the main reason to fight the enemies. Is just to get more tears for ourselves. Okay, I mean, that took basically no time, and we're back here. Okay. Uh, the room of a very cool boss battle. And the place we got our second holy wound. Okay. So if we go in here, I've already hit this. Activated the elevator. Uh, is there a down from here? It's not appear to be. Okay. Oh, hello. You again. You still appear to have six swords stuck in your breast. Take the hmm. links of my deep pain. Maximum health has increased. So we are not permanently removing swords from you. I thought we would be. Well, that was a worthwhile diversion. Up we go. Oh no, there's a thing. Uh, there's no fall damage in this game, right? I do not have control. I cannot jump out of this. I could fall, though. And there is stuff. Okay. Uh, there is selective fall damage. Oh, that really uh, put a damper on our fervor, didn't it?
Ah, okay, that's slower if I do an attack at the end of it. Like, I can extend my dash slightly, but I also extend the getting up from dash significantly. Um, right, so I could put the elevator up there. Uh, I could jump into that little area and try to go down. I jump through the platform from the floor, which is a thought that I had. In fact, looking at this, I feel like... A stupid place to die. I feel like we might need to go back there with the elevator up to get some things. Uh, unless we can... I can't really jump on top of it. Well, this is where we are, I guess. And lower that. Ah, uh, okay, trap. I see. That did look a little bit too easy. There was a catch, but I'm okay with that type of catch. Alright, back to the cistern. If we've been here, we have. Okay. Right, okay, so this zone, I was, I was marveling at how huge the zone was last time. It's actually not that huge, it turns out. Uh, there's just this really long shaft running down. Well, there is this still. Alright, so that's it for that exploration. That was a lot faster than I expected. Which really means where Olive Tree's Wither is kind of where we want to go. I don't see... I, mean, I guess there's down here. So in either event, we're going in this direction. Okay, so in that case, it's back to town. Oh, you really have to be centered to grab these ladders. It's funny, because like the... Um... The ledge grab? is pretty generous, but then the um, the ladder grab is not. It's kind of... I guess this is why I keep falling on, on, onto spikes when I try to, try to do the ladders. It's uh, a lot less, a lot more precise than the other thing. All right, I have a few more, right? No, nah, not that many. No, oh, but I got Tears of Atonement for it. The Bones, thank you for your help, O oh, virtuous penitent one. Bring the bones before me. Yes. We will do that. However, we have a few other things. Well, I mean, I, that's literally what we're doing. We're going out to do things. Now, well, let's check a few things, though, while we are here. I don't think I had any more abilities here. Did I? Actually, I probably did. Yeah. Oh, these are expensive. Okay. Sacred Lunge reach further. I have started using this, so I guess we'll just buy it. And upwards slash as combo finisher. That might be useful. Um, we'll have to see. But I'm not getting it for a while. Oh, that really goes. Okay. So Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow, I believe we go up one floor, one tier from the Uvula Proclamation. Excellent. It's our rosary item that gives us money for destroying things. Uh, yes, we will give the Knot of Rosary Rope. I have, in fact, given the Knot of Rosary Rope. Please do. Return once you possess new rosary knots to thread. May your heart be free of sin. All right. So, if we look at our rosary. Well, there's um, spoilers for how many of those we're going to be getting. Uh, all right, so... This increases defense, which is what I'm using, and this gives me money for destroying background objects. So the rest of these I remember being kind of situational. 
Uh, protection from lightning. Reduce dodging cooldown. Increase dodging distance. Create fervor when destroying objects. That's tempting. Protection against toxins. Is that different than Miasma? That might be an element that we haven't found yet. Oh, or those enemies in the um, in the cistern might be doing toxin damage. That could just be the element out of that, that zone. Because there's all the rotting zombies and stuff. Uh, accelerating use of prayers. Cool, but I probably won't use it. Uh, block attacks from behind. You know what? I feel like that is potentially the most useful. Honestly, these rosary items do not seem amazing. I did just get two tiers, though. All right, so back to Albero. Time outside, but if your pen sorrowful be. Okay, I did not have anything for you. Might as well just check while we're here. Do I have anything that can be blessed? I am uncertain. Bring me anything. Apparently not. Yeah, the problem is if I mess mess up the inputs, it's way slower. Hmm. Since we're going to a new zone anyway, might as well save and re replenish everything. Right. So this is where... Oh, it does work on range. Must have to just be close enough. I didn't have that one marked on my map, did I? Well, doesn't matter anymore. Oh, I can go in here now. I think I had to give them hair last time I was here. Make a donation. Okay. We will do one thousand and twenty four. Okay. I am assuming that it will remember how much I have spent, and it will probably do something eventually. But I have no basis for that other than this is a video game, and it would be very cruel to make your players give up a whole bunch of money for absolutely nothing. Makes sense that you get tears for destroying these obstacles. Obstacles, background objects. Uh, okay, so from here, yeah, just right and up. Okay. Alright, and you guys move surprisingly fast on your attacks.
Fight you guys, let's just go. Mistakes were made. Alright, so from here. Uh, I want to go up, but I also want to explore down. I'm wondering why I didn't fill this in. Is it because it's dangerous to go down? No, I went down and didn't immediately die. Uh, I think further down is death. Okay, well we might as well... Oh, I thought I'd get that last hit off for her. I did not. Ah, and we have the platform. Okay, good thing I came down here. And I guess it wouldn't have mattered if I'd come down here earlier. Tintudio's carnal remains, huh? That's, uh, that's an item name. Remains of the murdered novice Tentudia that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive a holy burial. Ah, so she's the one whose parts we're looking for. Was it her hair that we gave them earlier then? Who was Tentudia, you ask? Well, she was once a girl born in this same yellowish village of Albero, like you and me. On her fifteenth year, something extremely unusual happened. Her parents watched as part of her hair began twisting, unavoidably turning into very thin thorns. Concerned with the thought that it might be a punishment from the miracle, they locked her in as a novice inside a distant nunnery, famous for its strict cloistering, thus preventing the discovery of what would have undoubtedly been considered heresy. Okay. Well, we can drop off the carnal remains uh, in the near future, but I'd rather go forward. So that's just a thing to remember that we can do next time we're in Albero. Most of the other enemies, or at least some of the other enemies in this game, will spend longer winding up an attack. But I'm getting the timing down. Don't need to go the spiky under route there, because we've already done it. done it. I feel myself weakening. I'm sentenced to perish, abandoned in this forceful praying position. I can no longer hear the rest, only their rusted cages swaying in the wind. Hmm. Okay, so we actually had access to this area quite a while ago. I think Frosty Peak, at some point, one of the very beginning of the game, we were told to do something here. Oh. Okay, free item. Radius of Helzer the Poet. Oh, I shouldn't have swung there, because I could just grab... And another one? What's going on? Empty Golden Thimble. Okay. So I'm not going to be reading the random... Oh, hello, Golem Tree thing. Uh, I'm not going to be reading the random bone parts, but I will look at the other things. Thimble adorned with gold, carrying an inscription that reads, Only cold gold can carry the redeeming oil. Number one, a young villager named Oria. Oh, is this something we give to the... The hair egg has such a beautiful and pious face that even as a child, statue sculptors took her as a model for their creations. Her face became so recognizable that little by little, people took her as the living, breathing image of divinity until it reached a point where they ended up taking her out on procession and even replacing their own images. Such was the fervor around her that she could not bear to be mistaken with the divinity and buried her face, uh, burned her face with boiling oil 
to gift her pious beauty to God and took up the habits of a convent. Oh, that's very admirable of her. No answer yet. Hmm. Okay, you guys are back. And you guys. Uh, red is a pit. Uh, incense garlic. Ooh. The red is a pit, but it's just a foreground obstacle. Uh, incense garlic. Bulb white as bone, very hard to find. Its intense aroma, reminiscent of sandalwood, is only noticeable on rainy days, betraying its hiding place. It was sought after by the herbalists with the best sense of smell for its miraculous properties. So I guess we give this to the Kissers of Wounds, or the Brotherhood of the Kisser of Wounds. I love that name. Uh, Confessions of Tirso, part six. Ever since then, our pious kisses have saved hundreds from the affection of the miracle that ravages these lands. And from then on, our congregation has been called that of the Kissers of Wounds. All right. Really starting to get the uh, the lore of this game. I guess I haven't mentioned that in a while. I do really like the uh, the flavor in this game. It's it's got a particular aesthetic that it's aiming for, and it really nails that aesthetic. On these cliffs, located at the foot of a snowy abyss, the roots of a secret, await those who are patient. Hmm. Am I supposed to just AFK at a certain spot? Okay, I don't think we're making that. Oh, hello. Uh, I can't mark something somewhere that isn't on the map, so we'll just do that. Rude. Okay, apparently that jump was a bit tighter than I thought. Oh, that's a lot of... A lot of children. So do we just wait here? There are bells here. Is that just the background with the wind? Am I just imagining things? Hmm. I don't really want her to sit around waiting for forever. Uh, snowy Abyss, they did say. So there's this place. Oh. I'm gonna have to... This is awkward. I'm gonna have to make this jump again to recover my corpse. Okay, but if I... If I just jump from here... Okay, we can just wait until the absolute last moment on that. jump and do that though, right? I don't have to time it right from here. No, that's not gonna work. Okay. This is a move I don't use very much, the uh, the range attack. Ah, it's you again. Snow version. No. Few of you. I didn't want to do that. Ah, uh, it worked. Yeah, because that guy takes a while to wind up his attack. That's what I was talking about. Oh. What are you?
Well, you're decently easy to deal with when there's a ledge above me. Could go down. Ah, uh, there's a door there. Okay. Hmm. All right, we can swing up. behind that creature. What the heck is it? Ah. This is not a good place. survived. I see you. If I fail a jump... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm expecting to do there. Yeah, well, we got to this, whatever it is. Remains of Tentudia's hair. Alright, more Tentudia. Assuming it's instant death if I fall there. Okay. Can I? Okay, I have to be over here. Graveyard of the Peaks. Hmm. Well, that zone didn't last very long, did it? Huh. And... I guess we continue on. Oh, Merchant. With more stuff to sell me. Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. I guess what so. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. Well, the key to the chamber of the elder brother was very useful. Because that what gave me the thing that lets me see blood platforms. So maybe you'll have something here that's and also good. I be blinded if I'm lying. Soft white ribbon used during marriage ceremonies has been torn, thus destroying his delicate embroideries. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Oh, maybe that's the last thing I use for the, the hair egg. Hmm. Well, we'll buy it. Always wanted a torn bridal ribbon. What I am offering you here. May my Calcified Eye of Erudition, eyeball belonging to Alavaraz the Scribe, who glimpsed the truth hidden to so many other eyes. Its stony scrutiny reveals the vital essence of enemies. Oh. So, like, I have enemy health bars or something? Now we will look at all of these this once I've purchased them all. Is a precious treasure. 
treasure to me. Its value goes far beyond what I ask for it. Assuming I can afford this. May I don morning black if I'm trying to deceive you? I cannot afford that. That is expensive. Ember of the Holy Cremation. Ember crystallized through a long-forgotten ritual. It retains some of the heat of a bonfire lit on a different land. Tempers the heart, increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. Okay, well that is definitely worth the money, so I guess we're not donating any more tears anytime soon. Uh, his body was immobilized, and amid the cries of repentance, his skin began to turn whiter and whiter until it finally became limestone. As he was about to become a complete statue, in a final sigh, his tears softened to one of his eyes that had managed to separate itself from the rest of the body by falling to the ground. Then we discreetly moved her rigid body of lime from her cell to the lower parts of the uh, Arch Cathedral, along with the other forbidden statues. We put a wide loom over her so that no one else would know that under her would sleep, punished by the miracle, the great scribe. Okay, well, um, let's try that. Okay, and the other thing that we got... Number one. Yes, brother, it's been a long time since I stopped officiating nup uh, nuptials. Since the day those three sisters embraced each other, praying, since the day they asked for the miracle itself to help them to avoid such a holy bond. I guess the hair probably also has lore. Tentudia spent several years in that nunnery, and as she grew up, it became harder and harder to hide her hair. It wouldn't stop twisting and growing thorns, and the blood from the wounds it caused her did not take long to stain her pure white habit. The nuns, upon realizing, were frightened by it, and soon began considering her cursed and a heretic, just as the parents of the girl had feared would happen. Oh, okay. Um... So you can step on those, it turns out. Not a rosary rope. Not getting up there anytime soon. Where are we? Uh, not quite in line with this one. Okay, so we can pull that if we want to go down without dying. Oh. Speaking of dying... Okay, I can't do that. I mean... Uh, we're gonna die. Worth it. <laughs> this is something I was thinking about. Oh, did our maximum... Okay, I can see it now. There's, like, hovering on our maximum fervor. And then it went away when we grabbed our guilt fragment. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not expecting there to be things generally in these types of games, in Metroidvanias, where you are forced to die to get something. But that's actually very in character for this game. So... Uh, I'm actually not sure if what I just did there was intended, but it was certainly a game mechanic that I took advantage of, so there's that. Uh, immaculate Bead. Tell me more. Simple bead, devoid of purpose, its pristine surface has never been soiled by fervent figure fingers until now. I have something for you, and for you alone, revealed the gypsy to a monk who had just stopped his donkey as she uncovered a white stone possessing a strange beauty. It comes from the darkness of the ocean floor. Contemplate its purity. Look at its immaculate white, its virgin brilliance. What could be purer than this for your rosary, brother? Devoid of purpose. So what this is saying is, if I put it on my rosary, it doesn't actually do anything. 
one of two possibilities, uh, one of three possibilities. Either that is in fact what it is, it's just an item that exists, which doesn't do anything, which will be uh, funny and great when I start playing randomizers of this game. Uh, it will be able to be upgraded or blessed. Uh, that might be the thing, we might have to bless it. It might have some sort of upgrade in the future that we get something we can do to it. Uh, or, or what was the third option? There was a third one, I had it in mind, but it slipped my memory suddenly. Regardless, I am free of guilt. Well, I guess we'll go down and see where this takes us. Uh, we got less of a view this way. Oh, that's what this is for. And I assume this actually works now. Cool. That is very welcome. And you know what? Since we're here, in fact, we are right here, we have two more things to donate, I believe. The carnal remains. This poor lass. Many tears were shed in her blessed name. A thousand prayers do not clarify whether or not the grievous miracle is a manifestation of true holiness. Still, in our heart lieth no doubt that she was unjustly punished. Find the next remnants. The order blesses thee. Here's of atonement. Does that make up for what I donated? Not entirely. Okay, let's give the hair as well. The order blesses thee. Penitents will in silence. More tears. Find the next trend. Okay, always more remnants. Uh, I'm going to try to bless the... Okay, well, we have something for you, I believe. Yeah, so a couple of things to do here. Might not bother handing in the... Um, penitent one. With your the, uh, the bones the yet. Of this brotherhood carries on. Oh, and we can buy that other thing. Okay, excellent. Okay, can we bless this pearl? Starting to wonder just how useful this guy is. There we go. We'll be blessed a cloth one time, and now I keep checking because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, well I don't think there's anything else to do here. Like I said, there are there are bodies I can drop off, uh, bones, but there are always gonna be more of those. Have on to the left. All right. This and may I don't. Ember of the Holy Cremation. Well, it was a thing. We bought the thing. We are now out of tears again. Uh, increasing defenses of whoever carries it. And so the march was sung as a small group of parishioners walked in procession to the graveyard. The prayer was repeated over and over again along the way, turning their voices into a hypnotic whisper, murmurous, murmurous, and unrhythmic. Upon arrival at the burial ground, everything fell silent. When, with each shovel hole from the undertakers, the soil dropped cold onto the coffin, a hooded girl, rumored to be the daughter of the deceased, threw in a hot ember. It gleamed on its way down to the pit. The dirt continued to cover the hole, but to everyone's astonishment, the ember could still be seen glowing under the frosty soil. 
All right, and I was going to unequip something, but then I just remembered we actually have one more hand in we can do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not hand in ourselves to the underworld again. That seems like a bad idea. Also, I just had a thought. Given how many penitent one corpses there seem to be in our starting zone, I'm wondering if every time we die, canonically, we're actually a new person who's taking over the role of the previous. All right, we want to go this way. Uh, wait, where is our closest portal? Yeah, it is. It is back here. Okay. Also, I feel like we're um, we're due for another one of these statues. I think. Sometime soon. All right. Yeah, because I want to keep... Right, we want to go on from here. I want to keep that uvula just because money is something that we still have purpose. Still has purpose. Once you possess new rosary knots to thread, may your heart be free of sin. Okay. Yeah. So we'll quit that. We paid dearly for it. I hope this is a significant defense increase. Well, even a minor defense increase would be a significant defense increase in this game. Uh, grievance ascends. Mercy Dreams, you know, we'll go here. Right, because we need so much money for this, and there are so many more things left on that tree that we haven't unlocked. So I'm going to keep the, the Rosary Bead that generates money, uh, probably until I've bought out my entire tech tree. I mean, it doesn't generate a lot of money, but a lot of the... Other rosary options do very, very little, like protection from electrical attacks. Like obviously that's useful if you're fighting like in a very particular area, but it's otherwise not terribly impactful. Okay, and that might actually be a decent spot to stop, but I don't want to. Ah. Well. That was... Easy. Easy mystery solved. I guess we could... Yeah, this is accessible right from the very start of the game, so... Uh, we didn't need... Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to read this twice because I'm saying something. Uh, we didn't need any special items to get to this area. And I imagine we're going to get that third Holy Wound, and then we're going to unlock maybe a second half to the game based on our map percentage. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here we haven't done anything with yet. I wonder if we can get across here now. Hmm. Okay, what does this corpse have to say? It is closer now. The crying faces of ice announce the proximity of the convent. They presage the pain awaiting inside its walls. Presage? Presage the pain awaiting inside its walls. I ask the cold to be merciful and allow me to climb to the peaks, where I will be reborn as a sister of Golden Visage. Alright, well. Uh, oh, okay, wind effects. Oh boy. A mechanic that everybody loves. Uh, are you... Okay, we can see your health now. That's, that is in fact what that does. Okay. Wait, was the wind? Oh, it's it's changing with the way it's blowing. I recognize you, and I just did stupid anyway. All right. Yeah, our health pool getting pretty big. Can we get blown off of this? Hmm. Wind mechanics. Oh boy.
Uh, I like the music here. Okay, I think I know what I have to do here. An empty vial vessel, yes. Uh, can you dash this way, please? Uh, you didn't dash this way far enough. Oh, that is just bad. Oh boy. How do I get back? Oh, whoops. That was... I thought the wind was with me, but I also had to actually jump. Okay. Uh, which means I'm going to have to get back. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get back from there because usually when you fall into a death pit, they don't put your uh, corpse in an easily recoverable spot. Your your guilt, I suppose. Okay, interesting enemy. Oh, that was too close. Uh, I found a better way to fight those, though. Always happy to see that. I don't know if I need enemy health bars to be a, a thing. I guess I can also just hit those if they're charging me and that works too. Oh wait, mm. a little bit slow to realize what's going on there. Oh, and the wind is messing up, messing with my new strategy. Okay, of course it is. Well, if we take advantage of the wind, we can probably... Yeah, we have to go back. I'll just kill you and probably regret it. Oh, I can... Hmm. Okay, wind is blowing this way. That is terrible. Blow the other way. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Now, I did kill... The specter up here, but I have wind, so it's fine. A sipital of tequila, the something. Okay, take advantage of the wind. Probably don't want super windy. Okay, we got up here. Let's just. Oh boy. Oh wait, that doesn't go the way I think it did. Okay, there was a there was a barrier. Hmm. So what is my goal here? Uh, I don't think I'm doing much of anything. There is that thing over to the right, whatever that is. But I don't think I'm going anywhere there yet. Maybe... Maybe there will be... more tech in the future. I need to pogo repeatedly to get up here? Hmm. Let's see if the wind can carry me. Ah, uh, it can. Barely. Okay, that one was easier. Oh. 
that was a conveniently placed statue. We will anoint ourselves with more oil of the pilgrims. Hmm. Now, I don't use my mana for much, my fervor. Okay. So we're gonna have to time this. A lot of timing puzzles here. So wait. Oh, shoot. I had it, and I didn't think I was gonna have it. could have made this easier. Well, predictably, things ended up taking a little bit longer for me to get to a good stopping point, but we are hopefully going to resolve this section Uh, oh, is this a boss? Hmm. Well, I'll grab this. A piece of a tombstone. And I guess we're going back up. This isn't too bad. Yeah, I gotta say, again, impressed with this game, because normally wind mechanics are awful, and I'm not hating this. Well, this is something. Another... Indeed, sister of mine. Our encounter is approaching. The miracle mm, that protect me. I do not need your protection this time. Leave me alone. I'm sure that character will be important later. Convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage. Well, we heard about her. Oh, wow. Whoops, that was... Oh wait, interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we can parry her. Probably we get knocked back really far if we do. Those holes concerned me. Okay, well, we've made it to another zone, the Convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage. There is some side stuff we missed on the Graveyard of the Peaks. But I think this is where we want to be, and probably we'll get more elevator access at some point. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't have... We didn't have the ability to climb there. Was there something there? Now, regardless of whether there's something there or not, there is... Uh, map that I haven't been to, so there's a reason to return here. Uh, but you know what, I'm going to mark it anyway, because that tells me there's something there that I can't currently do, because I'm pretty sure I, there was just a, a place I couldn't get to. And I guess we'll continue with uh, the Convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage next time. I will see you then.